so yeah we'll come across the 10 then the three and a half which is the width of the tool because it's seven millimeter end mill so that's 13 and a half millimeters down and then basically we'll find the center of that um we'll have the center on the dial and then we'll come down 10 millimeters and then we'll just start cutting from there camera shit the bed had to go and fish my other battery out but yeah we'll clean this pocket out you can see that lovely jobly so now without taking it out to deburr or anything rubbish like that what we're going to do is because we know our centers we can basically just poke a hole poke a hunters straight through this bad boy so we'll i've basically set it on zero and zero on my dials from this edge and from the middle like we did before well off the settings that we had and then basically with this seven mil end mil i'm just going to punch all the way through This four, first hole in, so it's five. So one, two, three, four, five. It's five millimeters out that way, and then what's it say? Half and half. So it's eighteen across and nine. So we're gonna back out. The backlash in this thing's fucking horrible. Um, there, so two. Four, six, eight, nine. There we go. That looks tasty. Is that where we want to be? Is that where we want to be? Is that where we want to be? Yeah. 
Right then. Let's just... Oh, fuck. I didn't even press record. Right. So, I was just saying, uh, that's that hole done, that's that hole done. All is mustard, all looks good. Um, I'm going to tap these off camera, there's no point in basically. I'm just going to couple of turns from a taper tap, a starting tap, and then put the bottoming tap in and go all the way down. Um, what else was I going to say? Or what else did I say? Yeah, then after that, all we have to do is put the actual manifold covers on. So these are plugs that are going to fit in here with these three holes in. We have to do the transfer port side. So we have to basically put the tunnel in and all the rest of it. Um, I'll do that as well. That's another video. And then we can have this, and then we'll have the ability to be able to trap a bit of pipe to make an exhaust. And we'll show you how we'll make the exhaust we need to flare a bit of pipe because we can put a chamfer on the inside of this cap. Uh, we need to do the transfer port. Um, cut some gaskets out. We, the next big thing we need to do is start doing the carb, which is uh, we're going to have a go at the carb. The carb is something else, really. Uh, and if it doesn't really succeed, we'll then use a model carb while I work on another way of making a carb. Because I do want to make a carb for it from scratch. Um, once we've done that and that, other little bits is like make gaskets, piss around, do the reed. It's going to be a very, very simple reed because this is the easy engine, so it's the, the, the simplest way of doing these things. And then we won't be very far off at all from literally putting the whole thing together and uh, giving it its first run. The next video will be pretty soon because I've fixed the lathe and all the rest of it, so um, the next video shouldn't be like, um, like it was two or three months apart or what have you. Um, and I've you know pretty much sorted out all the other stuff i need to do like competitions and what have you so we'll get on we we'll actually crack on with this and get it finished and then move on to the next phase of this entire project hope that makes sense and i'll well, there we go and i'll see you in a bit no see you in a bit <laughs>